Hi Vogue, my name is Angel Sertima and welcome back to my channel. I'm just joking. But imagine, imagine if it happened. You feel me? Like you can already see it. Cause I can see it. Like Vogue asking me to do the beauty secret. Like what would mine be? I don't know. Something with like eyeshadow. I don't know. But I would definitely need to think about that before they ask me to do one. I should have that in mind, right? I should. Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing great. I hope everyone had a great Valentine's. I know I put that video up a little later, um, but if you did watch it, it felt like I spent Valentine's with you, so at least I wasn't lonely, okay? So for today's video, I am going to be following Miss Rihanna in her Vogue Beauty Secret makeup tutorial. Um, yeah, I did this, ooh, like two years ago, I think with um rico nasty no no doja cat it was doja cat doja cat let me make sure <laughs> it was doji it was doja cat um video that i had followed and recreated it did turn out to be something so if you have not seen it already go ahead and click it it was great it was nice it was beautiful um so now i'm going to be doing rihanna's now this one is um older this was four years ago and she used a lot of Fenty products which I'm sure she has way more of now I'm gonna try and use my Fenty products as well as following hers so let's get into this video so I have my computer here um, I'll have the video up here somewhere and yeah let's let's get started with the first step I can already see that she has her Fenty foundation which I have so let's see fun today so I'm gonna start with the foundation. So, I like to get messy with it. Let's do this. This I just like because it's like a safe bet. It's consistent. Okay, that's only half of my face. I can do my makeup in 10 minutes or 10 hours it feels like sometimes. It depends on what kind of day you're having and how much in a rush you really are. My next step is gonna be. Okay, I'm pause it there and I'm gonna do the foundation. Shake it up. Even though she didn't, I shouldn't have done that. Now she has a, a beauty blender, I'm gonna go grab mine. She only did three pumps, um, so I'm gonna do that. Two, three. But she did put more on her hand when she just did her forehead. I have not done this in a long time. I haven't done it like this. Um, Mainly because I feel like the Beauty Blender soaks up a lot of product. So, but like I said, this is a older tutorial. I'm sure she does not do it this way anymore. I have not done that much foundation in a while. And I, it looks nice. Fenty is always going to get you right though. Don't forget that. Fenty will always get you right. Like It oxidizes. Like, look at this. Like, there's no oiliness or anything about it. Like, Fenty's going to do you right. Don't ever, don't ever play with her. Next up. A little bit of contour. Mocha here. Contour right here. Very important to contour your face for your face. Not the way you see on every YouTube tutorial because everybody has a different shape. I have a huge forehead, so I like to go in a little deeper down here. Hide that. You know what I'm saying? Very important to go into the hairline too, because I hate to see that, that white line between your forehead and your hair. You should just blend in naturally. And up and down the nose. Contour always starts off looking absolutely crazy. I got double chin. Yes. Okay, let me get my contour stick. I feel like I, I should tell you what shades I was using. For foundation, I use the Fenty Beauty in shade 450. And 
I'm gonna follow her same contour even though she said that you should contour your face with what best fits your face I have a more circle face she does not but for the sake of the video and following along I'm going to do it how she did it so this is the contour stick from Fenty this is the shade ebony and we pretty much contour very similar um i do my cheekbones my forehead like that she did a lot more on the forehead than i usually do but it's okay and i do agree with her i do not like seeing that like gap in between so make sure y'all get that like Please. Chin. And then the nose. I think she just did it like here. Oh, I actually don't know if she put it up here. I may have messed up. I don't think she did, but I'm just gonna do it. Not that much. I had baby hair before I started, and now they're gone. That's how intense, that's how focused you have to be with your makeup, you know? Stuff gotta move sometimes. Look at this base, y'all. Like, I, like, y'all do not understand. Like, y'all don't. Unless you have the products, you don't, okay? Um, but yeah, it's giving. It really is. Shoot, sure, it's giving. Okay, let's go to concealer. I learned how to contour when I gained weight, believe it or not. That's when it comes in real handy. Them fat days and your cheeks looking like baby cheeks, you just got it. See that look? <laughs> I like to do all the deeper situations before I go in and like highlight my face. I see like this is a little messy right now, but I'll handle that. I always want to do a triangle when you're doing a contour under there. Give you that whole long neck situation that just disappears. Concealer. This, I actually like to warm up on my hand first. Just like that. And then like one little swipe. Everybody knows concealer is made for hiding bags and dark circles and hangovers and bad decisions. Yes, yeah, over here. The cure. My day to day it really depends on my mood. It depends on the occasion. It depends on how lazy I'm feeling that day, how much in a rush I am, you know, who I'm going to see. <laughs> it all determines what kind of makeup I do, if I do makeup, and how much makeup I'm going to wear. Okay, now we're looking a little smoother. Okay. I'm gonna pause real quick and I'm gonna do my under eye. I don't know if she does the rest, but let's do it. Fear not, everyone. I am prepared. Look at all these sticks. Wait, look at them. There's so many. And I love that they. Hold on, let me get. Let me fit this one in somewhere. Love, love, love that they're magnetic. That is so freaking cool. Like. That is so cool. I'm gonna use the Fenty Matchstick in the shade Sude, Sude, Sude. I cannot pronounce that, but I'm using this color. Um, oof, she is holding on for dear life, y'all. She's holding on for dear life. Um, let me see if the other one has a little bit more. Here we go. I actually did see this. Um, I watched this when it came out and I actually took that trick of warming it up in your hand first from her. So we're gonna warm it up on our hand like these. And then she does one swipe, which is really all you need. Like that. Like that. No cap, no line, no T. I do like a little more. Simple. It did its job. I just like a little more 
like brightness like you know but it definitely did its job here we go there whoa all right i'm gonna go around my nose because i'm a little sunburnt right now so i have a little redness there straight up and down that nose bridge okay um she actually went and did her nose like the bridge of her nose and she did her under her eyebrows so i'm taking that that was on my the back of my hand i'm just gonna go ahead and do the bridge of my nose and then i'm gonna do under my eyebrows like she did i'm actually loving this like i'm loving how it turned out it, it gives it a very natural feel to it but Oh, she said those are going out makeup. I was just about to say, I feel like I wouldn't go out with this. I would just wear this every day. Rihanna gets that bag, I go get this bag. <laughs> um, I think she's done with concealer by Leslie. Mattifying this face a little bit because things can get out of control. I use this powder to set my contour, to set my makeup, to blot. Oh my gosh, we got greasy on the fly. It is no joke. Always in my purse. Uh, it's not in my purse. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the powder that I do have. And it looks like she just uses one and puts it everywhere. It was a blotch actually. actually. It wasn't even a powder. But I'm gonna go ahead and use my Fenty powder in the shade coffee. And I'm going to put it in the places that she put hers. Her blotch, don't have that, but I do have this. I'm not gonna put that much. I'm put myself up. What's next, Riri? I can never leave home without this. And if it doesn't fit in my purse, then I'm changing my purse. I need to warm up this face a little bit. So I'm gonna use a little bit of bronzer and I go right over that contour. The blend is real. Okay. I actually don't know if this bronzer was this bronzer was out when she had did this video. Because I feel like she would have showed it, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Thick Mint. It. I'm sorry, I was doing stuff makeup wise. I was on a look, I needed to, you know. And she uses a brush. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do as she said and put it in the areas that I contour with. Okay, so for real, since we're doing a Rihanna video, how did y'all feel about that Super Bowl halftime? Because me, I did not mind it. I liked it. I thought the visuals were beautiful. But let me know what y'all think because I got some mixed feelings at the event that I was at. Um, so I'm curious. Let's move on. A little more finesse on the forehead over here. You guys can see it's not that difficult. It only takes me long when I'm procrastinating. I'm going along my nose right here. Next, brows. And next, I am gonna use the same bronzer and... Okay, so she did her brows off camera, so... Brows. Let's continue. Warm up my eyes a little bit. You can see my eyes just start to come to life a little bit. See that? Okay, I paused it. Let me finish this part so I can know what's good. I have been watching women do makeup, I mean, since my mom. And then I started working in an industry where makeup was gonna be part of my everyday basically so i picked up a lot of tips there and i think the best teacher is is yourself you have to practice on your own face because there are going to be things that you can do better than makeup artists like there's a certain point where they hand you something and you do it because there's there's one way that you like it and one way that it works 
for me that's my brows super super caught up about my brows and my nose contour <sighs> Okay, I paused it, um, and she was spitting facts, no lie, like, if you're in that industry, you really do need, there is some stuff that you need to know how to do, like, because you don't want nobody doing nothing crazy on you, and you can do it yourself, so, just think about that, um, she did bronzer in her, on her lid, so that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a small brush, what's your favorite Rihanna song, I have so many, What's your favorite song and what's your favorite album? My favorite song would have to be, oh my God, that's so difficult. Why would I ask that question? I like so songs. I like Stay. I like um, Be Better Have My Money. That's, that's my song. Uh, favorite album, she doesn't really have many like that. Um, but antsy. That's a good album. Okay, yeah, next. <sighs> because I'm black, you know, that's very special notes. Next is going to be a little bit of eyelid drama. Beach, please. Beach, please. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start with the pink on the lids because it says Summer, sunset, love, drama, bitches. <laughs> Not me laughing. That was easy. I always like to warm up underneath my eyes, give it a little definition. Okay, pause. So I do not have that. And I actually don't even think I have a color like that unless I have one more matchstick and it's in the shade confetti and it is kind of like similar to that you can't see um let me rub it on so that's wait where is it it's there i don't know why i put it on that one let me move it it's right there so i think i'm gonna use that so i'm gonna put it on my hand and then i'm gonna use i can use a brush and i'm gonna put it on my lid I'm really hoping that she adds mascara. Oh, and she warmed up the bottom of her eyes with her contour. So let me do that too. Beautiful, beautiful. Next up. What kind of day I'm having really determines how I'm gonna apply this. Most days you just wanna go right by the lash line. But like a day like today where I've barely had any sleep. I'm gonna get all those little bags right there. But the creases, they, they show up. If they're there, they're gonna show up. Like, see that right there? Now I have to blend that out. This is the fun part. I'm gonna use the same palette. Blush is also something that depends on your mood. You know, sometimes you're trying to give a little natural vibe, give a little bronze, like a little hint. And then sometimes you just wanna go ape, like, like right now. Like, I want to give you guys a vibe. And my vibe for summer is more is more. Okay, let me get my blush. This is a cream Fenty uh, blush in summertime wine. Love that. And I'm just going to hit it here. Okay, she only keeps it right here, so I'm gonna just leave it right there. Um, let's move on. You definitely want to smile when you're putting on your blush. Here's your face, and there are your cheeks. See? As soon as you smile, you know exactly where to put that, okay? I'm gonna stop now. Now, I know you guys noticed that I've been using this really, like, brush which I like to call my shark tooth brush but it's a cheek hugging brush it's made perfectly for your cheeks I want to try some of this mmm see that and I can get really carried away when it comes to the highlight I'm really good I layer highlighters all 
the time. But there's a technique to it. You just have to figure out what kind of look you're going for. And the colors need to make sense together and blend together. This is like, whoa, this is giving me my life right now. Highlight my nose bridge with the same brush. Boom. I can even take this and go into my brow bone, just like that. I think the key to highlighter is not being afraid of it. There's always ways to play with highlighter. It doesn't only belong on your cheekbone. A lot of people think that. Makeup is fun. It's there to play with. Okay, so I agree 100%. Let's do highlighter. Um, I have this one. I do not have the one that she has. Um, and I do not have the brush that she has. So I'm going to go ahead and use... This is kind of like an angle brush. And I'm going to use this for my highlighter. And she puts it here. This is how we're looking so far. Next step. I like to do the corner of my eyes because it gives you a little zest or oomph, as a lot of people like to call it. Look at that. Lashes. Okay, so now I'm going to do the corner of my eyes like she said. I don't have that what she has, but I'm going to use the same Fenty and I'm just going to go ahead and do the corner. Okay, I feel very glowy, like, like an alien. And then she does lashes off, and I believe that she did not have the mascara at the time, so I'm going to go in and use mas that mascara. Next. I think that this may be the final thing, too. Next, I want to do hmm, lips. This looks fresh, like it's in the vein of what I'm trying to do. It looks pink right here. You see a little bit of gold? Look how much it really shows up. Ah! Guys, I mean, you guys. Look at that. Okay, um, I do not have that lip gloss. I don't even think that was a Fenty lip gloss, but I'm gonna use the Fenty lip gloss that is kind of similar to that. It sparkles, so. Uh, this was like, I will, I'm almost done with this and I will never, ever throw this out. Like, you see how empty it is? Like, it's, it's sparse, it really is. Um, but oh gee, this is the Fenty gloss and this is the it's literally called Fenty glow. I Think this is one of her first like lip glosses like collection So I'm gonna use that. I Mean she is like let me show you She is empty she's empty like there's still some But she's empty so I'm gonna use this. Okay. Every time. And then I also learned that there is a mirror. Oh, it is. Mine is so cracked though. It's chipping. Fenty, I mean Fenty. Rihanna. It's it's chipping. Like I need some more. Okay. There is a mirror. That's wrong. She wrong. This is the finished look. Here we go. This is it. Um, I think her eyeshadow is a thousand times better than mine. Um, but it is what it is. Um, I don't think I can do this with any other video, like using their own brand. Uh, but that's why this was such a special video for me because I love Fenty products and I love that she used her products. I really need her to do an updated one because. She has way more products now, and I want her to use those products. So, yeah. Um, comment your favorite Rihanna song, your favorite Rihanna album. If you like the Super Bowl, I liked it. No hate. No, I'm just playing. Um, yeah, follow me on my social media Instagram, Angel underscore Halo 17, TikTok, Master 17. I will see you guys in two weeks. 
because I changed it. Bye!